Good morning to all the children of the church and everybody else. I have something very special I want to share with you today. It was a gift to the church a couple of years ago from Miss Earlene Sutherland of a nativity scene, and I want to use it to share the Christmas story. So you see that there's nothing on the table now, but when we finish, the table will be full. But we're, the Bible tells us about a man named Joseph and, his, and a woman named Mary, and they had to make a trip from a place called Nazareth down to a place called Bethlehem. And so they made that trip. And when they got there, they were probably very tired and they needed a place to stay. But there were lots of other people in the town and the Bible says they couldn't find a place to stay. And so somebody offered them uh, a place where they could stay. Maybe it was a barn or a cave or somewhere where the animals stayed. Well, Mary was getting ready to have a baby. And the Bible says while they were there, they had a baby and they named him Jesus and they laid him in a manger. Now a manger is what the animals eat out of, what they would put the straw in. So the baby Jesus cradle was a manger, a feeding trough uh, where the animals would eat the hay. So Mary and Joseph were there with the baby and the Bible says that Somewhere near Bethlehem, there were some shepherds out in the field. And they were taking care of their sheep. And they were probably maybe cold, I don't know, maybe bored. But they had an important job to take care of the sheep. And we're told that an angel of the Lord came and spoke to the shepherds, and the shepherds were very afraid. Can't you imagine how afraid they were if they were out there in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden an angel and a whole bunch of angels came and talked to them? And the angel said, don't be afraid. And they told them what had happened in Bethlehem. And they said, you need to go and see the baby. And then the angel disappeared. So the shepherds went, and they saw the baby Jesus. And they told Mary and Joseph about what had happened, about seeing the angels and about the message they got. And then they went back to their house. Now that's one of the Christmas stories. Did you know there are two Christmas stories in the Bible? There's one in what we call the Gospel of Luke, and that's about the shepherds. There's another story about some wise men. That's in the Gospel of Matthew. And it sounds like it happens a little bit later. It sounds like maybe Jesus is a little bit older. But they came from a long way away. And it, the Bible doesn't say this, but maybe they rode on some camels because it was a long trip. And they brought some gifts. And they brought gifts called gold and frankincense and myrrh. Very expensive gifts. Seems kind of strange to bring those to a baby, but they were honoring him. And you can see in these pictures, they were kneeling down and worshiping him. And then they went back home to where they came from. So lots of times in our Christmas cards, and in our Christmas carols and in our Christmas pageants when we have them here, you're dressed up like the shepherds and the wise men and Mary and Joseph and the angel and everybody's there together. And that's okay, because it's all one story. But I wanted to tell you about the two different Christmas stories. And we thank Miss Arlene for a beautiful Christmas scene. And I think I'll just leave it up here in the sanctuary and you can see it again next week. But we thank Miss Earlene for the nativity scene, and we thank God that he sent us his son and gave us that gift. Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for um, Christmas. 
for the birth of the baby Jesus who grew up and is our Savior. And we thank you for hymns and pageants and nativity sets that remind us of the great gift of your Son to us. And we thank you for that Christmas present. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>